Hi, my name is Amy Connell Donahue, and I'm running for school board for District 65. I'm passionate about being a Lake Bluff resident and would like to serve the community that embraced my atypical family seven years ago when I moved us back to the area where I grew up. I have four children spread across Lake Bluff Elementary, Middle School, and Lake Forest High School. Raising four very unique learners has exposed me to many different facets of our school system. I have a child in advanced placement courses, one who performs at grade level, a middle schooler with a 504, and a high school student with Williams Syndrome and a 63-page IEP. The experience working through many district distinct scenarios have provided insight and a deeper appreciation for the endless details and effort that go into each student in our district. This background is beneficial for seeing different views that may be helpful when sitting on a board. Lastly, my volunteer work includes sitting on the LDA board for four years and raising $8,000 in grants for our community, participating as a board member on our district's PTO for the last four years, sitting on the NSSRA, now True North board as a board member, serving as a committee member for the Lake Bluff Park District, and sitting on the board as a com and committee member for the Lake Bluff 4th of July Parade. I was also asked last winter to speak on behalf of Lake Forest High School at the TASH conference in Phoenix on raising different learners and the experience of different children and how they all learn in different ways. I'm currently a small business owner and before that I spent 23 years in the telecommunications industry managing budgets, business plans, employees, and client relations. And I think that all of these different pieces of my life are beneficial to sitting on a board. And I hope that some of the experiences that I've had will be able to transfer into skills to help our community and represent them the way they wanna be represented. To address the issues brought on by the global pandemic for our school districts, I think the most important thing that needs to be done is to identify and build consensus on what the most pressing issues really are. This means parents, teachers, and the administration working together to pinpoint how the greatest population of learners are being affected. Because of the detrimental financial impact of the pandemic, it's important for the community as a whole to weigh in on the top concerns. Because this is uncharted territory for everyone, we don't have history to work from, so we will need to establish how to prioritize those things and be able to address them one-on-one. -on -one. But before anything can be done, they need to be identified. It is certainly crucial that our community be aware of the issues that are confronting our school district and also the decisions that are being made by the Board of Education. I think issue awareness is most effectively communicated at the board meetings. If attendance could be increased, so could awareness. Today, the communication of the meeting times and meeting places is good, but I think it could be improved. Possibly, sending proactive emails the week of the actual meetings, increased signage around town, especially for people who don't have school-aged children and aren't on other emails that may communicate board meeting times. I also think that doing a detailed written summary of the actual meetings after may benefit people who don't have the time or aren't willing to sit down and watch an entire video to get an update. Lastly, I think it's really important for community members to feel welcome and empowered when they choose to participate in a board meeting. Being an approachable board promotes participation and communication and an elevated sense of community and belonging for all. And I think that is very important in the community. Balancing 
all of the demands are obviously a big concern for every board. I believe that it's crucial for a board to constantly be scrutinizing costs and research alternatives, which may lead to potential savings. In addition, presenting and discussing costs in detail with the community on a frequent basis will identify those programs or initiatives that may be deemed most valuable or that will be deemed the least amount of value for our money. I think constantly keeping an eye on it and revisiting the things that the school district is spending money on could potentially eliminate some costs that aren't necessary and increase savings overall.